So I'm going to open up our PlayFab auth service. And inside of here, we have a our case statement for logging in with Facebook, which we have not filled in. So authenticate Facebook needs to happen. And so private void authenticate with Facebook. And so this method, we can do a few tests. So one, we want to wrap this with our preprocessor directive. So if Facebook and if Facebook, we need to import that as well. So, so using uh, Facebook.unity and we want to wrap this with if Facebook pound and if okay uh, and this we're gonna have the same issue so uh, you'll see that multiple places here that we have this same problem uh, I'm gonna solve that problem a little differently this time right now I'm gonna say using login result equals playfab dot client models dot login result and so that's going to resolve all of those issues and so here we want to say if Facebook is initialized and Facebook dot is logged in and string dot is null or empty our own uh, auth ticket field. So if our auth ticket field is not null, then we want to go ahead and go play, play fab client API dot login with Facebook. And we want to pass it a new Facebook request. And the cool thing is we can do all the same stuff that we did before with the result and the error from our other authentication methods with the exception of this callback thing. I guess we don't need that. That we were doing just for silent authentication. Yeah, we don't need, we don't need this either for the air. Yeah, that looks good. And the, and it wants a few things. So we still need to pass it the title ID. So play fab settings, that title ID. We still need to pass, um, well, we need to pass the access token. And that is going to be our auth ticket field and create account definitely true and our info request parameters info request parameters and now it functions just like all of our other authentication methods now if we get back to this point because it started up well we want to display the UI callback so we want to dispatch this if we come through this point and Facebook is not initialized. So if on display authentication is not equal null. And the reason that we do that is because Facebook has their own authentication flow. So it's kind of going outside of our standard authentication flow. So what we want to do is merge the two and make sure that if Facebook's not initialized and it's not logging in, but Facebook was set as the parameter, 
which in my specific case, my Facebook authentication failed, but I had already made an attempt. And so my authentication type was already stored in player prefs as being Facebook. So just in case we came back here and we're not ready to log into Facebook, we want to re pop up and re display that Facebook authentication UI. So now if I come back to my project, let it compile and push play, you'll see that Facebook was the authentication type, but now it's actually prompted me with my UI because Facebook's not initialized, it's not ready to auto log in or anything. So now I can actually click login with Facebook. I need to reacquire my access token. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna get a new access token. I'm gonna paste it in here and I'm gonna send my success and it logged into Facebook. And so there you have it, authentication with Facebook, fully working. Uh, if I deployed this to my Android device, it would actually work exactly the same exact way. So uh, Facebook authentication is complete. Thanks for watching.